Today, we will have a brief introduction of CrowWatch ShineLink X monitoring module. CrowWatch ShineLink X include two parts, RF stick and Shine Lane box. The RF stick will be used to connect with the inverter and send the data to Shine Lane box by RF signal. Shine Lane box is used to connect with router so it can upload the data to Shine server by internet. The Shine LAN box can receive up to 8 signals at one time, which means you can monitor 8 devices with one Shine LAN box. With a Shine server platform, the system can realize remote data browsing, remote parameter setting, remote firmware update, etc. Growa Shine LAN X module can be used to monitor Growa single phase and three phase inverters. I have stick module connects the inverter via USB port and collect data from inverter. Tools we need to prepare. Open the package and you will find it included network cable, shine lamp box, power adapter, user manual, IF stick, fixing screws and wall plastic posts. The interface of Shine LAN box is like this. First, connect the power supply of Shine LAN box. Please according to the local socket to use suitable power adapter. The power LED will light when power supplied. Second, connect the network cable between Shine LAN box and router. When network connected, the LED of network in Shine LAN box will be always on. Third, connect the RF stick with Crowwatt inverter. Attention, when installing, the side with a triangle mark should be on the front. After plug the RF stick into inverter, you can rotate like this to lock the RF stick. At last, pairing the RF stick with Shine LAN box. Short press the button at the bottom of RF stick. You will find the LED of RF stick flash fast. It means the RF stick is trying to pair now. Then use a screwdriver to short press the pairing button of Shine LAN box you will find the pairing LED flash fast. It means the Shine LAN box is trying to pair now. When the LED of RF stick flash blue slowly and the pairing LED of Shine LAN box is off means the pairing succeed. Now, let's see the device number LED of Shine LAN box. We can see that every two seconds it will flash one second, which means one device is paired with it. How many seconds it flash means how many device it pairs now. Scan the QR code on installation manual, module or package box with a smartphone. It is also available in Google Play or Apple Store. Download ShyPhone software and install it on the phone. Enable the smartphone's wireless network. Run the Shine Phone app on the mobile phone. Click register, select country and then fill in username and password etc. After registration successfully, Click the plus icon on the top right corner and then select Add Device Fill In or scan the series number of Shine LAN box in a verification code. Then click Next button. The Shine Link X will be added to system automatically. The data collection interval of system is 5 minutes. If you are not able to see any data for a long time, please carefully check the LED status and check the connection accordingly. First, if the connection is not stable, please check the distance and if there are any blocking between RF and LAN box. When there is one wall, the distance should not longer than 50 meters. When there is have two walls, the distance should not longer than 20 meters. If still not work, Please try to pair the stick and LAN box again. Please press the pairing button of Shine LAN box more than 6 seconds until all the 4 LED lights are on. Then release the button and try to repairing the Shine LAN box and RF stick. Please pay attention to the following key points also. 1. If you are trying to use another account for configuration, you need to delete the data logger in your original account in order to add it to other accounts. 2. Log in the router and go to its setting interface. 
check whether the module has emerged on the router. The module's network ID on router is MT7681. Check whether the router's DHCP function has been enabled. Via mobile application Shine Phone or via a computer platform Shine Server. Logging Shine Phone, you can browse monitoring data at the event list or remotely set the parameter, open the web browser and visit the website server.growart.com. Log in with a registered account. On the home page, the dashboard displays data performance such as daily production, monthly production, annual production, total electricity production, total revenue, etc. Also, you can confirm how many devices you have connected. If the number of devices displayed here does not match the number of devices actually connected, please check which device was not successfully connected corresponding to the device serial number. Choose the plant, click all device and input the serial number of inverter and search, then click inverter setting. Choose a designated option, fill in the value and then enter the key and click yes. The web page will be fed back with successful if it had been done. The monitoring system also has remote firmware upgrade function. A firmware is downloaded to the module firstly, downloading process supports intermittent connection. Once the downloading is fully completed, the module executes the firmware upgrade.